Drive, do you know where we're going? You don't speak English. <laughs> okay? <laughs> Did you get that? Yes guys, we're here, we landed, we're, we've arrived in Lisbon. We are going to see, we asked a couple of questions online, who do you think it will be? Surprise, surprise, it's Mr. Jose Mourinho, the special one, so, are you nervous, Steve? Little bit. Yeah? Yeah, no, I'm not completely relaxed, because I, I think this is gonna be a massive interview, because I don't think he says yes to us coming doing this while he's unemployed, unless he's just gonna slap someone on us. Yeah. Premeditated, calculated. I don't know. That's the, that's the tantalising, teasing. Put this way, I'm getting. within three minutes of us uploading this interview, it's going to be in every single newspaper, and I can yeah. guarantee that. I don't even know what he said yet, and I know that it will be. Jose, the special one, man. The special one. Also, my question to him, Manama. And actually, it's not my question. I'm actually going to apologise to him. I'm going to say sorry because I was one of the many thousands if not millions around the world scratching their head going what are you chatting about when he was said that in his press conference that finishing second at May United was possibly his biggest achievement right. in his career. Well, well we'll jump back in when we uh, when we've uh, when we're there. Where are we doing it? Do you know? I don't even know where we're doing it. Do you have you given the address? Yeah. Oh, tell, tell me <laughs> Jesus Christ I'm Hotel, sitting here. Hotel de Chardo. De Char that sounded very, very yeah, Portuguese. Hotel nice. De Char, that, we're going that, to, guys. That rolled off the sun. <laughs> Did you go school there? Yeah, it sounds like it. All right, we'll see you on the other side, guys. Just finished with Jose Mourinho, but mm. his box office, isn't it? Yeah, he's it's captivating he, to listen to. Yeah, he's always got a little way of delivering something that it just pulls you in, it or you go, didn't see that coming. The furniture one. So you know, when he wanted to clear the decks, clear the furniture stuff, like he said, you've got to clear furniture first before you bring some in. Like I was just sitting there thinking, only Jose talks like that. Yeah, and I'm sitting there as he's saying it, saying, but we had our telly on the floor. <laughs> yeah. No, it's true. He, I mean, listen, you're, you, you expect box office of him, but he is he's a great storyteller. The stories about Sir Bobby Robson, the story at the end about R9, the one about R9, unreal. I'm uh, glad we asked that. Yeah. I know you asked it. I'm sitting here thinking, because they only did that one season together. With, uh, uh, Bobby Robson only did that one season at Barcelona, and it was the 96, 97 season, mm. where I think he played like... 34 games, 35 goals, yeah, crazy. really announced himself to the world. But that was that season, Jose was mm. an assistant underneath um, mm. Bobby Robson. Had a great relationship with Pep at the time. It, it, it's actually a crazy, crazy time. I think Laurent Blanc might have been in the mix there. I mean, previously they had Koeman in there. A lot of managers came out of there. Came yeah. out of there. And the next season, Lou Van Gaal was there. Mad melting pot at mm. Barcelona at that right particular hard. time. Eventually, yeah. yeah. But you know, you know what I, I liked about him? It's just, it's just he was quite he's, chill, wasn't he? He's, he was chilled, yeah. And he's, he loves Man United, by the way. More than I thought. Yeah, I, I, I've got a sense that he really loves Man United. Like he, he said he went back there and the, the reception that he was just like taken aback by it. And he's, he's one of them guys. Probably only Spurs is the only club that he's been to where his connection with the fans hasn't been like above and beyond anything you normally imagine. Like Chelsea, he's an absolute god there. Man United, the fans love him there. Roma, he's seen the way when he left there, how they've been into Milan. Like he, he, he said, even Africa, he can't go to Afri Africa because of the players that he signed there. When, well, I, I didn't actually think about it until we were talking about just how many African players he actually oh, signed. Ridiculous. ridiculous. It's way more than anybody else. I actually think there's a documentary in him going to Africa. Because, mate, I've been, right, and 
I probably haven't done as much for the African players, or I haven't, to what he's done. And I get treated crazy. I go down, it's like, well, the fandom there is nuts, right? But for him, given the impact he's had on these African players and then bringing more fans to the Premier League because of those signings, bro, he wouldn't be able to move. He has to have army and then local security attached. Otherwise, wow. he can't move, I'm telling you. Be mad. I don't think he gets You think you're right. I think that'd be a great documentary. Yeah, crazy. Who's setting up? Who's negotiating that deal, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it was, it was really interesting. You're right. He loved United. That was obvious. Um, mm. He's loyal to his players, isn't he? He, 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 won't, he won't single out anyone, will he? No. I think it was interesting listening to him talk about the pressure yeah. of Real Madrid. I mean, that you know, 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013, that. Real Madrid and Barcelona just Bang, absolutely it, uh, having it. Pep, him and Pep. <clears throat> Pep said the other day, didn't he? So we had asked someone asked him in the press conference, where did you find it the most pressurising? And it, no, no doubt about it, he just went a thousand times more in Barcelona well, he than He walked anywhere. away in the end, didn't he? Mm. He's been at City twice as long as he was at Barcelona. Yeah. So, yeah, I think you know, there was something in... I, I meant to ask him, but... I, it didn't really seem a normal point to bring it up, but they played, I'm sure, either 2011 or 2012, I think they played Barcelona three or four times in like three week because mm. of the way, like, I think they, they had them in like the quarters of the Champions League, they had them in the cup, they had them in the league. Mm. Can you imagine the, oh. and it was at a time when Ronaldo and Messi are sharing a Ballon d'Or every year. Mm. You know, they are first and second in the league and it's not certain which way yeah, that's no, going to go. That team, we, we played his, I think, it was his team that, that yeah. we played. That knocked us out. Nani's yeah. yellow card thing. Ozil. Yellow card thing. Was, that, was it that team? Uh, Ozil was there, but it was a bit earlier, wasn't it? Yeah, they had a mad team, man. But he's, when you're sitting there, I always think about this. When we interview managers, I always sit and think, would I like to play for you? Do I think you could have got the best out of me? And with Jose Mourinho, it's just, just like, yeah. Well, we asked him, didn't we, and he pied it. <laughs> but what, about what? About if he'd have joined in uh, 2013 instead of Boris. Yeah. Because my belief, and I'd love to hear yours, and I'm sure everyone else would rather hear yours than mine, but my belief is he was the right temperament to follow Sir Alex and not be scared. Mm. But also the, the makeup of the squad, like people like Robin on their own training programmes and stuff like that. He wouldn't have been bothered. He'd have been like, yeah, cool. Is it working? All right, let's mm. do it. And I think we've probably retained the title. Yeah, I think with hindsight, you look at it and think, who would have been perfect who had the charisma, the personality, the, the balls to go in there and, and think I can outdo Sir Alex? Because he liked all the players, right? Yeah. And that was, team had, I know Sir Alex likes to say it had a lot of young players, but the young players was like Cleverly and Smalling. They, they weren't, you know, you yeah. skulls. Yeah, there was a lot of older players in the team. And I think he would have handled those maybe. It's all if buts and maybes but I think he would have been prime position to have handled us Ancelotti maybe as well you mentioned him before yeah so but was on the way down those were my two picks when he mm. went but like he said who knows yeah. yeah where next though because he pied us on that as well didn't he where next yeah he's not he's not sure what's going on it was interesting what he said about England didn't seem like the door was shut on that also didn't shut the door on Portugal either yeah the thing is Portugal and England have got some of their best crops now It'd be a great time to take over those two. I'm, if I was a betting man, I'd go England and Portugal as my two first picks, where he goes. You know Could, I mean? would it, the way you talked about wanting to work all the time, though, does, does he get that with international football? That's just a, like a red, he's just put that in there, he's thrown that in there, definitely. I've actually made my mind up, he's going to go England or Portugal. If you um, get him in now, probably get something at one in all honesty. <laughs> Do you know the best thing that come out of the interview? Waistcoat fella's not doing it. The best thing that come out of the interview. That you've got to start respecting me a bit more. <laughs> I now, on Jose's word, I end every interview. With the last question. <laughs> I do that. That's my go. That's my go-to. Okay. So just just take that home. Let that sink in. How are you going to do that though? When I'm on the flagship podcast, the one keeping the lights on. Yeah, that's something that's, that's quite true. But you've got to stop drawing aliens and things like that. So you think you can get past that that's glass That's the content people. People don't come for this. This is filler. People come for me and Ash drawing aliens. Let's be honest. That's the comments. Let the comments tell us. All right. Guys, that was Jose Mourinho. This is Lisbon. And we are out. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs>